I am today announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. After announcing his candidacy in mid-November of last year, former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick was already late to the game. And since then, he's all but disappeared from the public spotlight, leaving many to speculate on just what his candidacy is about. Is he a Massachusetts progressive? Is he a moderate who can run kind of like a, as a 2020 Barack Obama? Uh, and I don't think that the, the jury is still out yet on where Duval Patrick fits in. Now almost two months into his run, it seems Patrick's campaign has failed to draw headlines or create any buzz compared with many of his rivals who managed to dominate the news cycles on a daily basis. Finally, last week, Patrick's campaign put out its first commercial ad buy that seemed to acknowledge his standing. People say it's too late for me to run for president. You know, growing up on the south side of Chicago, people told me then what I couldn't do. I've been an underdog my whole life, and I've never let that stop me. The ad is running in Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, and South Carolina, with heavy emphasis in New Hampshire for its close proximity to Massachusetts, and South Carolina for its strong base of African-American voters. Reports suggest he's told his supporters he plans to finish near the top of New Hampshire, and then continue with a strong momentum into South Carolina. And while he does have high favorability ratings in the Granite State, most surveys show he's polling at less than 1% there and in South Carolina. According to the market research group Morning Consult, Patrick is not only tracking lower than any other candidate nationally, but 46% of Democratic primary voters polled, according to the survey, say they have no idea who he is. His campaign is hoping a surprise showing in New Hampshire could change that.